this podcast, we look at JavaScript's getTime method. Here we are at JavaScript source code, and our first task is to access the system clock and get the date and time information. So once again, we are declaring our variable D and making it equal to new date method. Once we have our date data, we can then go ahead and, and access the time. And the way that we access the time is with the get time method. So I am concatenating to my string I'm printing out D dot get time method. And it'll go into that time data set from the system clock and just extract the part that deals with time. Now here's an interesting point. What it does, it gets us the number of milliseconds that have occurred since January 1st, 1970. Let's test our code by refreshing the page. And there we have it. The current time in milliseconds is that many milliseconds since January 1st, 1970.